It was good, man. It's your boy GSC Capo. Smash that like and subscribe button, man. Shout out to Truth Teller, man. He be on this shit heavy. Been doing it for a long time. He about to hit that uh, 100,000 plot, man. Congrats to that nigga, man. This video right here about FBG Young on his brother FBG Cash being killed. You know what I'm saying? He said it was fucked up. He got more on PGF Nook. Uh, this and FBG Duck and shit. This part one, so. And bloggers and shit, too. I'm about to smash this play button and see what's up with this shit. Hold up. Let me see what's going on here with this volume. Let me make sure my Bluetooth. There we go. You gotta get Young back in here, true. You gotta get LGG back up in here. Today, he was lucky enough, you know, he was kind of. Cause it's you, I'ma come do. Uh, I was lucky yes, enough, man. So you let me speak with him, Young. How you doing, bro? I'm alright, Oh, definitely. Now you know, Young. The whole world been kind of quiet. They been waiting to hear you speak. You no know, news kind of broke in Chicago. Yeah, no cap. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Niggas been waiting for FBG Young to start speaking on this shit. He been holding his shit for some. What, a month almost? I know that nigga hurt. I don't even know if a nigga could cry, dog. Niggas lost so much niggas, man. It'd be hard for a nigga to cry and shit. That should be crazy as hell. Oh, Dad, you know your brother, LBB Cash, the legend, uh, kind of passed away. You know, I don't want to make this a, a LBB Cash interview. That's not what I'm going to do. But I do want to ask you, you know, how did you take that whole thing? Oh, wow. Yeah. Shit, I, I ain't nobody gonna take shit. My brother. Yeah. Yeah, this shit was fucked up. This shit was gonna respect. You know, this shit is. Right. A lot of people don't know, you know, they watch shit on the interviews and on the cameras, but this shit be real life. This shit really real, you know? Yeah. So, um, how do you feel about the blog? You know, a lot of videos about cash, it's a few little rappers, man. Kinda of threw some listening and all that shit. You you have to pay attention to that shit. Oh my goodness. Right. Not on the internet. No, because I know that shit gonna come, so I don't I don't watch that shit. What the made me mad? Right. I don't watch that shit. Right. I don't give them that view so they can get that money. Right. No, That's what it's all about. I'm petty. Right. So you are aware that people are trying to watch to get a reaction from you. Yeah, a reaction or you just getting a little check. Right. That's how that shit go. Yeah, that's crazy. <coughs> um, last thing I want to ask you about this before we move on. Yeah, I ain't doing all of that to get no check and shit, you know what I'm saying? I report on the shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do all of this capping in, you feel me? But I report on what niggas say left and right, you know what I'm saying? But all that extra cap, all that uh, extra shit they be doing, I ain't with all that shit, man. Niggas be doing, uh, doing too much. Like how they titles, they titles, they be posting their titles real crazy, bro. They say a nigga done did this, that, and the third. And a nigga on parole and probation. And a nigga go do something else. Not what they done said the nigga did. Do something else. And the nigga's looking at him like, hey, bro, he done did all of that shit. Hey, nah, chill, bro. Throwing jackets on nigga. That shit ain't right. Yeah. Yes. Dre, oh, that's another interview. She dropped a powerful audio for LBG Cash. You know, the fans say truth. If you get a chance, ask you on this. You know, I, I didn't know if I should ask, but, you know, I'm going to test the waters, and I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to say, you know, what came to your mind when you heard the audio? That was kind of powerful, that young. I ain't really need that shit. Like, most of us send me that shit, but I ain't really, I ain't really watched it. Nah, young... I don't want to say young scared and shit, but you could tell by a nigga vibe and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, his aura, everything he giving off, like, that nigga a little shook, you feel me? Like, he, he know what's going on, and he definitely know that them niggas, well, he know that his ops got more money than he do. So, you definitely can't, he can't, he can't move how he want to move, he can't get no get back like that, he could try, but... That shit ain't gonna make no sense because it ain't the nigga that they want, the nigga that's doing all the bullshit, you feel me? So, yeah, that shit crazy, boy. That nigga look shook, man. Rest in peace, uh, Cash, though, man. 
Yeah, around that time, I was in my, you know, my foot being they feelings, so I wasn't watching none of that shit. Well, I heard of it. Oh, definitely. Uh, I want to ask you some real shit, though. You know, you see your friends been jumping to the blogging game. See King Yellow blogging. Oh, yeah, Billion King Mel Yellow got that 100K plot. How you feel about that? You okay Shout out to King Yellow, man. Stories and stuff like that. Got nothing to do with people. I mean, I just want to say what they got going on. I don't feel no type of way about that. No type of way about that. How supposed to feel about what another man got going on? Shout out to them niggas in Murder Town, man. I ain't talking about Timo. Timo tried to he, he tried to come at me on some wild on some wild shit. It's alright though. He wasn't talking the prices I was talking. Long live Trello, man. But yeah, shout out to Murder Town. Them niggas rock with me. Shout out to Gigi Inuski and Gigi Rello, man. Bully boys. I mean, it is what it is. Now, because I've been seeing some people speaking out, not liking. I don't really, I don't really watch that shit neither, though. Right. So I'm just watching that shit. Is that something you were thinking about? He got me. Yeah, he know he's going to look down. He got me. Not at the moment. It might come, you know, some vlog on my life type shit. He's uncomfortable, like, too. Like vlog and telling stories and stuff. Oh, so you wouldn't jump into that kind of stuff? Nah, why would I? I'm just saying, you know, you are in these stories. You know these people. It's people in the basement telling your story. Now. I mean, I understand, I understand it. Like, why, why would you let other motherfuckers tell your story type shit? But, I mean, why would I be up there telling stories? Fuck, write me a book or something. Read that. Oh. You know? I get you. He ain't off of none of this shit. <laughs> Truth teller said, oh, I get it. Nigga, you don't get nothing, nigga. Unless you getting exactly what I'm getting, nigga. He ain't off none of that shit. Yeah, I get it. Did you feel some type of way about people up in the comments, a video? Nigga, hell oh, yeah, bro. Mama Duck bro, even felt some kind of way, nigga. Mama Duck took it. To... I mean, I don't feel no type of way. I know, I understand, nigga. Well, let me see what he gonna say. Niggas be having. It's the internet. Motherfucker say shit. Yeah, he now. switched up he, his he, words. He's about to say, say that, something. You know, switched reaction it up. Or gets cloud off this shit, you know? Yeah. yeah, he ain't trying to get killed. He trying to leave that shit alone. That's what that is. He know who PGF Nook fucking with, bro. He know he fucking with them niggas, man. In that circle, bro. He ain't, he ain't with that shit. Not personal. I ain't take it that serious. I mean, shit, it is what it is, but shit, it yeah, ain't really he took it personal, exactly. Now, you know, I ain't trying to stir up the it. pot, but I got you in this chair. I want to be transparent, you know. You've been in this shit for a while. You know, you got videos that got M's on it. You know, a lot of people don't got videos that got an M on it. You got videos that got an M. Screw the dude. Did you see Drill Rock turn into this when you first started rapping? Right? Mm hmm. I mean, like, that should go hard. What it turn into? kind of dangerous, you know, a lot of guys not here. Hey, I was like one of the first niggas on his motherfucking mixtape when that shit had just like about 5,000 views on YouTube when he dropped that shit, nigga. I was the only person in New Jersey riding around the FBG Young, nigga. A few summers ago, niggas ain't even know what the hell he was saying. <laughs> this shit been like that. Supposed to be a rap. This shit been like that in the start of I think that's what that's really why it turned into what it is, just cause it's like it's not no regular rap. I mean like it's down there like it's murders and shit having right. an off of this shit type of shit. How did it get like that though? The 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 disc records, the internet, like you know, I didn't ask you that but I still ain't got my fingers on it. What has turned the Chicago rap scene into Seven rappers, <laughs> that nigga fidgety as hell, boy. I swear. Oh shit. That competitive? What I think, I don't know. I feel like that nigga more fucking purple bean or something, like, man. That nigga super fidgety, nigga. Like he can't shit. Wanting to jump with shit, not even to like just wanting to jump with shit. Like and have shit. motherfuckers be like, oh, this shit look like easy, or this shit easy, or motherfuckers really getting a check off of this shit, and having motherfuckers really doing the shit that these rappers talking about. So they be like. So it just makes it like anybody can jump in this shit. So it just make it like, you know, mm -hmm. any that that's why it's so hot. 
Changed the whole game, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking the internet. Everybody want to beef and, you know, the whole point. That's how that shit go. Them E-Day, who the fuck are you? Them, them songs and them early songs y'all got. Y'all was getting paid off them songs? Is that what y'all talking about? <clears throat> y'all wasn't getting paid and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they was getting paid off this shit. For a minute, they weren't getting paid off this shit. Right. But they knew, they knew way before me and Dutchie knew. So, like, yeah. What about you? You weren't getting paid off them early songs and stuff like that? No, nah, I don't. I ain't getting paid off no more songs. Really. I heard you speak on that like, earlier. Like, cause like, we ain't really know who the fuck. Like, we ain't really know he was getting paid off YouTube. We just trying to get and then half the time we weren't paying the cameraman. So we just said, this is why it's good to read, kids. This is why y'all niggas gotta learn how to read, man. If y'all ain't gonna stay in school, at least learn how to fucking read, bro. Because, nigga, YouTube in the policy section, right when you go to monetization, the settings of the fucking account set and the account settings, they tell you all of that. It don't take a rocket scientist to read that shit or either get there from the damn YouTube page. Somebody else was getting paid off this dude channel and shit the whole time, bro, and he ain't even know. Like, he, he bugging. And like dude said, he got M's on his videos. Niggas bugging, bro. Yeah, man. He probably came up, he probably got up on top of that shit right now, but... Ain't no telling how much money that nigga was motherfucking losing out on, bro. Getting on their pay. Right, um, so trade off kind of shit. Yeah. Right. The reason I ask you that is because I want to know what's life like for you now. Then the AdSense and all the Googles and all, uh, Google ads and all that shit. Bro. Nigga was receiving them deposits, my nigga. And he wasn't even seeing none of that shit. I mean, he eating now, though, so he good, though. You know, you've been, what, just like 13 years since the drill culture kind of started, something like that? So, probably like, yeah, 2010, probably like 2001. What's life like for FBD, you know, you know, you're still on the block for hours and hours, like daddy. With Dutchie know. at, man. For sure. I want to hear what Dutchie got to say, bro. Shit, we need to chill, you know, I'm humble as hell. Like, Cash. I done a, I done a synced everything, so. I know the outcome, a lot of shit, a lot of shit don't play out, and I ain't one of them niggas who gonna... Yo, rest in peace, Cash, but yo, man, Cash been caught slipping too many times, just like he said in the interview right before he died and shit, bro. Oh, girl, the girl that he was with, right, her man's or with her ex or whoever that nigga is, and shot him already, you feel me, like a week ago or a, a month ago, whatever the fuck he said, but yeah, it's like, yo, how many times niggas gonna catch you lacking before you bust a move? You go to Atlanta... In the mall, and niggas pop on you, about to jump on you. They got you out here on camera and shit, about to start freestyling. Like, they want to freestyle and hear you rapping shit. Old girl, dyke girl, get her shit off. And then she, you know, like, you got, like, ten niggas in the mall trying to get at you and shit. And you got, like, all females with you. You leave a gun in the car. Dutchie even said to the nigga, like, bro, how you, how you, how you leave your gun in the car? You in the mall, all in another state with a bunch of females, bro. And you know GD's there. I mean, BD's and shit there. You know niggas is there. Can't be doing shit like that. Well, like I said, man, rest in peace to that nigga, man. That shit wild. I don't know why he was moving like that. Man, he was talking like he was gonna die of an old age, bro. No disrespect, but... Bro, you moving like that and you out here tweaking, disrespecting niggas and you, you got bodies under your belt and shit, bro. Ain't no way. There's no way, bro. Should have been doing better than that, bro. Moving way better than that. Taking shit more serious. Taking life way more serious, bro. Should have been worrying about breathing and shit. The long live that nigga, man. Who need recognition from the internet? Um, I'm good with where I'm at. Like, niggas know what's going on. What do you mean recognition from the internet? That's real. People doing shit for that look on their neck, huh? Bro, look like yeah, you that heard. Same you same same that shit gets eyes. Right, you can see it all on his motherfucking body movements, bro. Like, that nigga hurt. He trying to act like he not, but it is what it is. We all lost niggas before and shit. Gotta get through that shit. You catch the right eye, then you got a career off that shit. Oh. I mean, shit. a lot of niggas did like that. So some niggas take that away. I don't really be 
deep inside with myself, I'm, I'm, I know what I be on, who I am myself. I don't be on the internet shit. Facts, he never was on the internet shit. Take it to a part two real fast, man. Let me bring up this shit in the mini player. Hold up, y'all. To be honest, I didn't even expect uh, FBG Cash. I didn't even expect FBG Cash to die like that that fast either. Like, he just got uh, signed to J Prince. A lot of niggas did like that. So some niggas take that way. I don't really be deep inside with myself. I'm, I'm, I know what I be on, who I am myself. I don't be on that. Hey, look, man, call it weird or not, but it's like, why is every why every time these motherfuckers sign, right? Why every time they sign, they die? Why is it like that now? Every time niggas sign, they die. <laughs> Y'all better watch out for young boy. That nigga signed into uh, Cash Money. He was already rapping by he was going to die in his that in the third, bro. Them niggas, them niggas sell out. And they talking to them demons and shit. They know when they time to go. Just like Orlando Brown was saying about Prince. Prince was pacing back and forth in front of Walmart and shit. Prince knew, right? Whatever a fucking fallen angel or demon this nigga had a contract with, the motherfucker told him that his time was coming right then and there. Prince got scared. That nigga's out in front of fucking Walmart, pacing back and forth like a crazy man. He ain't know what to do with himself. But he went to his house and what happened? He found dead. Overdose. It wasn't an overdose. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Signs be right there in front of everybody's face, my nigga. The niggas still don't see it. They tell you in their music. The niggas just want to dance. They don't want to listen. You know, we watched the video. I actually got one queued up right now on the TV. That's the joint. Cute bitch. I believe that got an M on it itself right there. Um, but I was asking you, what's life like for you rapping now? It's... it's the fans are under the impression that you guys are still hanging on 63rd and St. Lawrence, 80 of y'all waiting on the Opsa rap band. <laughs> Life is kind of updated, Frank. That'd be dumb hey, as hell. Yeah. Be, I mean, my father, you look, you look catching my father like it's the neighborhood. I mean, you'd be dumb as hell if you just sitting there all day. Exactly. Like you ain't got like, shit yo. going on, just waiting on the motherfucker to ride shooting. Or you got <laughs> fans be the goofiest size niggas, bro. I already just said. Yeah, you dumb as hell, exactly, bro. You nigga got all that money, he gonna be still sitting in the hood on the corner that he was standing on before he got the... You fucking retarded, bro. Hey, but long live Capo, man. That nigga did that shit. That was my nigga, man. Long live GV Capo. It's fucked up, bro. Man, he's went out there with all his jewelry on his neck. Act like niggas wasn't gonna see him. Then this nigga said he was gonna die there, too. Motherfucker said it in his song, man. Said it was an innocent kid that was getting hit in the drive-by. Now let's ask God why. Whatever he said. And what happened? Niggas done did a drive-by on him. Hit a little one-year-old boy. Ran him over. Ran him over. Car dragged that nigga under the car. Still got to that nigga. Shot that nigga. Killed the little boy. All of that. Nigga said that shit in his song three months before. Come on. He said it in his song three months before that shit happened. How'd that happen? Niggas just getting premonitions like that now? Just shoot at a motherfucker or the police pulling out one to check you and some shit. Right. That's dumb as hell. Like, why would you want a motherfucker? That motherfucker grown man now. Right. Right. I feel like that's... You live your life backwards, really, if you want to go out there and go stand on the block. Yeah. What is, what, what? Facts, nigga. It's evil to live backwards, nigga. Remember that. Evil to live backwards. What is 60 30 like that? You know, that's a newer generation out there now. Yeah. Y'all yeah. still able to come out there, the neighborhood ran y'all. Not the neighborhood, but like the people on the block. You know, the parents, they ran y'all off the block and shit. Nah, they ain't that like. I know uh, on St. Lawrence shit, they, they, they did us like. Hey yo, uh, tell me in the comments, man. Tell me in the comments, y'all think motherfucking uh, 
truth teller asking young the right questions because I don't think this nigga asking him the right questions. Some of these questions is like, bro, we don't heard like a million times already in all these interviews, my nigga. Like, he could have asked him some more uh, serious questions and shit, bro. Like, relationship with Lil J and FBG Butter. You know what I'm saying? Like, his relationship with uh, FBG Duck Mom and shit, Mama Duck. Like, he could have he could have been talking about some more serious shit. Like, all these questions he asking, I don't heard ever, I heard all these questions being asked since 2010, nigga, like, shit is crazy. I don't even know how bro sitting there, I didn't like, yo, you got something else to say, like, my nigga, you triggering, bro. Like that, right. that cause they got like, like in the neighborhood, like some of us got, uh, blocked up. You wanna be talking about the gang shit in the neighborhood, nigga is just like leveling up way past that, like he said, he not even in the hood no more. Why are you asking him about questions about the hood still, like? Shit is crazy. Presidents and shit like that. And right. some niggas still want you to indulge in that shit. Blocks. They got blocked up presidents, but they don't be too strict as some blocks. And the same ones with one of them blocks. Hey, you shouldn't even be saying this shit anyway. Man's out here sounding like Vlad, nigga. Like, he work with the feds. Asking them damn questions like that, my nigga. True. I mean, I'm not, look, I'm not saying truth tellers is a motherfucking federal agent. I, I ain't saying that, so. I'm just saying, man. Some of these questions a little suspect, man. Yeah, hell, man. You gotta go. If you motherfucker ain't quiet, that's how they want it. You gotta go. You gonna let her? You gotta go. Shit, we, we like that. Yeah, that's how they want it. Man, that's how they want it. Yeah, 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 that's how they some type of ways I seen New York rapper PSB Fredo and Chicago rapper Blackgate Benzo. They filmed the video at the corner. You got some type of way about that? Internet, bro. I know what you're trying to gain from that. Yeah. Facts. What you mean by gain from that? I mean, what what you trying to gain from going and standing in front of a motherfucker a daycare? We want motherfuckers exactly. to pull up shooting and hit the kids inside that. School or I don't know, That's why I fuck with this nigga, man. You already said these niggas try to get these niggas to pop out. They gonna go stand in front of a daycare and be like they in front of a daycare and shit. Try to get these niggas to pop out and do something like, bro. The fuck I look like coming in front of coming to a daycare and start shooting at niggas like you. You got to be real fucked up in the head, bro. I will catch you at another time, my nigga. You bugging? Nah, I fuck with Young, bro. His mind in the right place. He ain't trying to hurt nobody, kids and shit, man. These niggas out here retards, bro. Straight retards. Trying to game. Besides, what we trying to game and go record yourself and take a picture on the fans? Recognition off the internet. That's only I can see. So you don't take that aggressively, like, oh, I'm on your ass. It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> ain't not, not, not really. I know, like. I don't know. Like I said, I've been around this shit a long time. My fuck was doing that shit in 2010. Thank you. I knew you. what the fuck. They really been doing that like shit. like I man. said, man. You not gonna, you gonna catch nobody right there? All right, you take a picture, you was out here or some shit like that. All right. So, that shit ain't nothing. First thing you can't get mad when the internet. You know, a lot of shit, man. I ain't even from Chicago, nigga. Plugged in with the rock. Like I said, though, 2010, man. I know these niggas, man. Chill out, bro. Niggas tweaking, bro. And with the blades, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm not sure if you was on social media like that, but when you did log in and you seen the news, King Lil J arrested again. First thing came to you. Because you know him, you know. I ain't plugged in like that, though, because niggas still want, like, 800 for a motherfucking shout-out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want 1500 for a verse, you feel me? I need my shit free, nigga, because some of these niggas, I write better than them, so. It's like... Y'all niggas tweaking, and they they know my work. They bugging. Chill out, bruv. Niggas want to get in the studio with me. I'm like, nah. Gotta wait. I'm trying to build a platform first. You know, you know the King Lil J that we don't know. You know, we just know the internet King Lil J. You know him behind the camera. First thing. First thing you can't get, man. Shit, shit, damn, man. Be back locked up. And I don't be like that's jail. Like I, don't, I know I, I don't be wishing that I'm gonna fuck your little ass home on nobody. Shit, damn, he got locked up. But you didn't see a lot of guys 
and been around a lot of the guys. You think he was moving right when he came in? Um, I don't know. Like, I ain't, I don't been around him to know how he moves, so shit. Oh, wow, well, he asking about Lil J. That's what's up. But hell no, Lil J wasn't moving right. Nigga on probation. Nigga just got locked up with a gun, nigga. Just violated his probation. Niggas on motherfucking Instagram live talking about he putting 40 bands on PGF Nuckhead, nigga. Right after he said that, niggas arrested his dumb ass. Like, nigga, do you know when you motherfucking threaten motherfuckers and you on parole, nigga, you violating your parole, that's a terroristic threat, nigga? And they don't even gotta... My nigga, if them people want you, nigga, they gonna come get you. Like, you niggas retarded, bro. Like, all that money still playing stupid, bro. That nigga like Joe. I heard a nigga was in that motherfucking, uh, he was in there getting head anyway, you feel me? His homie had a, uh, I forgot, the, I don't know if it was Moto, one of them, I don't know, nah, not Moto, I'm not even gonna, fuck. I forgot the nigga name, man, but he was on live and shit with the nigga. The nigga was saying, yeah, he let, a, he let a nigga do some, uh, he let a nigga give him head inside the county and shit, you feel me? So, that shit crazy, man. Can't forget that shit. Y'all yeah, here talking about he tough and killing these niggas and all this crazy shit. Look, bro, you need to chill, man, and just be yourself, all right? Ain't nobody judging you, my nigga. Just, just chill out, though, because you got these kids out here thinking shit is this and this and that, and then you doing all this zesty stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, bro, like I said, decide to be yourself, but don't be doing all this extra shit trying to portray image that, you know what I'm saying? Especially a bad image. For these motherfucking kids to look at when that ain't even you you happy on the inside you feel me like you happy on the inside but you over here trying to portray an evil image and these kids is looking at that shit like that ain't good it's fucked up and by the internet like they did exactly what you supposed to do she came home he dropped him constant bitch did what they supposed to do Shit, it's just like a lose lose, bro. Just like right. being who you is, bro. Cause it's like obviously you you around the shit for protection, but you like, not need even people with good messages and shit, man. That's what we need, man. You we know, got, we need like black people, people in this bitch. Like, what about the still being good in influence, shit. positive messages, man? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't even tell nothing. I'm in Chicago with you right now. Yeah, yeah. but if it's okay, young. Know, you know, I, I gotta cut you off on this, man. I don't know if this is just because you're doing an interview. Do you really still be out here, young? I just put that on you right there. It ain't take me that long. Like, it ain't take me hours to get to you. Right. So, that shit, I'm, I'm, I'm in the area somewhere. Is we gonna, is we gonna get to the point where... That's what I'm saying, nigga. Truth tell in Chicago, this nigga be asking questions that he don't even... Like, he, I mean, asking questions that he already know. I don't know what's up with man. I'm bugging for that one. He still ain't asking nothing about Mama Duck. Relationship with Mama Duck. They must have talked about that shit before the interview and was like, yeah, don't ask me no questions about that or something because he ain't bring that shit up yet. I mean, this shit about to be done. We got like a minute, a minute, 12 seconds left on this shit. Yeah, we leaving this place. He bugging, man. For sure. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I just, like, stay here? Yeah, like, you gonna leave this place? Bro, you famous yeah. out here. For sure. I don't stay in this motherfucker. Right. Is we gonna get to a point where we gonna stop visiting as much? <laughs> I mean, here, yeah. yeah. If I get, yeah, if I, if I get got shit going on where they can stop the visit. Man, his hand's shaking. He asking him that one question. He looking down. His hand's shaking. He don't want to come back to Chicago. Wherever he at, he ain't even, he really ain't even want to come there. He just messed with uh, Truth Teller, you feel me? So he came and did the interview. Whatever hotel they got, probably downtown Chicago, or some some place in the burbs in a nice white area and shit they got. But yeah, bro, he ain't wanna come there. You can see it, all in his eyes, all in his face. He giving off that vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like he spooked. Like when he leave the building, he gonna be having to look over his shoulders. He ain't with it. Thanks so much. Yeah, when people recognize you, I'm some real shit. Can you be honest with me exactly. on this? When people recognize you, is it, a, is it a moment of panic for them? Well, who? For me? Anybody. Look, man. Smash that like and subscribe button.
Tell me what y'all think about this video in the comments, man. Y'all think Truth Teller asks FVG Young the right questions? I don't think so. I think he uh asked some shit that I've already asked about a million times already, as I said in the video already. Like I said, man, I'm out. I'm gonna drop another one. Gang, gang.